Now, a while back I bought uh, quite a lot of um, Apple PowerBook 100 laptops because I wanted to have uh, one, PowerBook, one working PowerBook 100. And, uh, well, still, as of today, I've got, what, four PowerBooks and only one kind of worked. So, a recapping is on the way. But they also came with those power supplies. They are model M5140. Z, if I'm, yeah, that's it. And uh, all of those power supplies were dead. It's also, it is also why I got uh, that many power books for, because the price was really low, because they said just had the power book, the computer does not turn on. But in fact, the computer does turn on when I plug it using my uh, bench power supplies. But the power supply, the power brick that the power book came with was dead. Now I decided to crack one open and really crack it because it's just welded shut. And I found that, uh, first of all, the power supply is made by Sony. Uh, no surprise, the 100 is made by Sony, so I was expecting a Sony supply. And But the other thing is that there are the same brand and type of capacitors that you find in those uh, Macintosh LC TDK power supplies. Those are those um, Elna long life cap capacitors that, as you can see, they leak and they just may have a few disasters on the board. Uh, there are three of them right here, plus another one back there, which does not seem to have leaked yet, but it's better off replacing that as well. And I think uh, there are some other capacitors. There's this one here, which is still made by Elna, but it's another series. And there are also those two right there, but I don't feel that they are the problem. Also interesting that there are two little trimmers, and uh, if you look on the writings here, one is for adjusting voltage, and the other one is for adjusting current. So it's a really well-made supply. Also note that there is a fuse here, quite easy to replace. And, well, it seems like it's made up really well. Uh, just the solderings are quite good. I don't see any crack. Um, it's really nice that they just draw those lines here to separate the primary from the secondary. And they also did it from right here onto this daughter board, which has this really unique single inline package device here. And we'll got opto isolator, not a switch, maybe a switching control. I don't know, but yeah, it's pretty well made. Uh, I did a quick uh, search on RS for just to see how much will it cost replacing those uh, four capacitors, and well, I discovered that it was really cheap, about one euro per power supply. Now I've got three of them. I o I've only managed to find two of them, but I should have a third laying around. And well, I might place an order because just having uh, original Apple power supplies is always much better than uh, going around with those uh, replacement Chinese power bricks, which are not as uh, as high quality as this one. That's for sure. Uh, also, as you can see, the screw—it's a bit rusted. I don't know, but uh, there's a bit of flickering from my overhead lamp. As you can see it's rusted so I think that they must have leaked quite a lot of electrolyte to cause such a problem. You can also see it on the casing. That's quite disgusting. Oh yeah this thing here went right there as an extra isolation from the primary and the secondary. As you can see really nice uh, you don't see those very often so it's a pretty good power supply uh, I'm definitely going to recap it uh, next time I'll need to order some capacitor I'll I'll add those in and uh, I'll let you know it works